Hey, welcome to Cajun Toy Review. Today, we are talking Marvel Legends, and I am excited because we are continuing our Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness wave. And who was the second in line? It is Wong, who actually is first in line now, considering the MCU continuity. And yeah, man, this figure looks awesome. This is our first Wong figure, and it looks like they did him justice. Unless his legs don't move or something crazy in there. I'm pretty impressed so far. The colors on this guy look phenomenal. So yeah, let's talk about it. So looking at the package, Marvel Legends series, of course, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Marvel's Wong, looking really good. There's a bunch of stuff in there. We can see pieces for our builder figure, of course, as well. Doctor Strange logo on top. And we have a nice shot of Wong on the side. Repeats on this side and a bigger shot of Wong as well. A little bit of a read up if you want to read that. You can pause it. Uh, here's the other figures as a wave, including the bigger figure, builder figure, uh, Rental. I'm not familiar with him. I'm going to learn it before we get there, though. Uh, but yeah, this big, crazy, mystical bull who was in the trailer. Which I don't know much about. I'm sorry. But like I said, I will when we get to them. So yeah, these are the figures in the wave. This is number two. So it is Wong. So UPC on the bottom if you want or need or care. So yeah, not much else to say. Let's go ahead and open up and check out Wong. All right, so here we have Wong out of the box. And yeah, man, this is a good figure. Uh, for the first Wong figure, they did it right, man. There's a lot of really cool colors on this. And uh, yeah, sometimes they skimp, but all around, backside, front side, Wong looks good. Uh, I really, really dig the way this guy looks. He comes with a good bit of accessories. He has a builder figure piece, a lot of detail. This is a must get if you're a fan of this character, if you like the MCU characters. I think this, man, we're just kind of rolling in. This is our, our second character in the wave, but so far, this guy is top notch, man. Even surpassed this new Doctor Strange we got. So uh, let's get him off the turntable. Let's take a look at the accessories and look at Wong. And looking at the accessories that come with our Wong, we get these energy effects that we might have seen before. These look really familiar. Uh, uneven, crackling kind of energy. Uh, a big one on the right hand and a smaller one on the left hand. Translucent with the... F Hold on a second. Yep, these are the exact same ones that we saw with Doctor Strange. Same size, same hands. So I guess something in the mystic arts, you can only make big ones on your right hand. And, you know, I guess that's how this works. And your left hand, since it's not dominant, you don't get as big. But it would have been cool if it had been reversed. And then you could have had big on one hand or two or mix and match. But yeah, they're exactly the same. Uh, no color variation on these or not. So, um make what you want and yeah even the hands are the same so hey either way whatever you like but uh i liked them the first time with dr strange so I, I like them again but yeah really cool i do like how they're uneven and rough around the edges uh they are a really cool translucent amber uh kind of color on it but yeah the exact same thing we've seen before and again familiar grounds we got these casting hands kind of pulling down the Star Destroyer or whatever you want these hands to do. But yeah, they look really cool. Um, you know, you got the two fingers up, casting deep into meditation. And then we got this gripping hand. And this hand is for gripping this really cool looking sword. So yeah, we got this nice looking sword which has a lot of detail on it. I've got the gold hilt. I mean, uh, Man, somebody's gonna kill me. It's got the white handle with the go. This is a hilt. If I'm wrong, then put it in the comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like kind of a, a what is this? Is it not a claymore, is a scimitar. Uh, it's not a katana, I know that much. But yeah, this looks really nice. I don't know what purpose this has in the film, if this is going to be something special. Uh, I'm not huge on Wong in the comics, so uh, if this is something, uh, put it in the comments, man. Let us know. Because I don't know. But uh, this looks really awesome. I'm hoping that it's going to be something in the film. But yeah, it looks pretty damn awesome. And it puts him up on Doctor Strange. Because yeah, Doctor Strange don't come on no damn sword. Wong got the sword. But just put the handle. You can only hold it with the one side. So yeah, it just goes. Ports into there. And looks boss 
on there. It looks really, really good. Um, it's supposed to look like that. No, I'm not. Um, and of course, you pop on your energy shield. And that is that is how you battle right there. So yeah, cool accessories, like some things we've seen before, but I do appreciate all of it. I did like it the first time and I like it again. Uh, I think it's awesome. The sword is really cool and it's a complete package. So let's finish it off by looking at our figure itself. All right, and lastly, we're looking at our figure, Wong himself. And yeah, man, I think this is a great figure. I think it's a really good uh, overall complete package. I highly recommend only the second figure in the way but so far this is my favorite out of the two uh and, and we'll take that as what it is we'll see as we go on but god you know there's different types of figures that we collect uh from marvel legends we have our comic figures the mcu figures and you know the game reverse ones which is probably the smallest of them by far but uh and some people don't like the mcu ones but man like i think this is just a great figure guys so let's take a look at our wong So first thing I want to point out real quick is something that I've seen other people kind of say online and stuff like that, that his head is too small uh, for his body. And I disagree. I think his head is proportioned just right. The actor Benedict Wong and the way he's portrayed in the movie, he's kind of like Zatig, where he's more rounded out and stuff like that. But uh, this, you know, I think is actually straight on. I think his head sculpt is proportioned with his body well. It looks a little big because you kind of see the robe, but... Look at Strange him with side by side. Their heads are pretty much the same size. Uh, so yeah, I think, but I'm putting that to rest. I think his head is fine uh, size and stuff like that on this figure. But speaking of and looking at the head, this is a great look. The technology that Hasbro is using for the facial scans and the way they've been doing it and stuff looks great. Uh, this looks a lot like Benedict Wong, the actor who plays Wong. Uh, even to the point where they actually put the pock marks on his face right there, which blew me away when I saw that. Um, I think that looks great. You can see his facial hair, his little thin mustache and goatee. Uh, the eyes on this figure look great. And at certain angles, man, it's just really amazing likeness. Uh, the hair on the figure is great. Got a nice little part kind of on the side over here. Sculpted really well. A lot of line work in the hair. Even the ears look great. But yeah, that's just look at that brow. When you get to the side angle, you can kind of see the brow on there. That is fantastic. Just great overall. Uh, color of lips and everything and stuff like that. Just the paint is fantastic. No sloppy paint or missing paint uh, on this head at all. And as for paint on the figure itself, the colors on this guy are just fantastic. I love the colors on this guy uh, with the yellow. Really, really kind of accents a lot of it. Uh, but I do love the different shades of purple. We kind of got the plum going on in there uh, with the brown. And then that orange just kind of blended in with that. Looks great. Um, you might not really see so much in the pictures or maybe in the box. But when you look up close, there is texturing on his kind of robe tunic there. Kind of embroidered on there. Then he has the same kind of texture here as the strange cloak has on it. And then we have this texture on this kind of lower part of the robe and then we have this whole different way of texture in there here like i said man just lots of cool stuff i love the way the yellow kind of comes out in this fold like it's kind of opened right there where you can see that it's a multi-layered piece of this robe right there that looks really good um this new arms these new arms are the pinless elbows but like all the wrinkles in the arms looks great especially when you get down to the legs you can see like the wrinkles in the pants Got kind of these baggy pants on that kind of bunched up on the ends that's all just so cool looking guys he's got his little uh the sling rings or whatever they call those things on his belt right there which is a really cool little detail painted in there in gold and then he has this wrist guard um it looks almost egyptian to me but it looks really cool it's got a lot of texture even on the bottom half we're gonna see the connection whatever that is supposed to be i don't know but you got the purple coming around you can kind of see where it connects on there and then all these little textures with that blue and that yellow i mean blue and that gold looks awesome and then all the colors on this collar kind of opened up right there you can see another shirt underneath that's just man it's beautiful i think it's just a great figure and this 
wrist has a different kind of more cuff piece. Actually, oh no, I'll say maybe you can see some of the same color on that side, but you can't. Uh, the back side is not as dull as you would think. The texture kind of wraps around. There's a lot of colors, still kind of kind of folds around stuff like that. So it looks it looks good both sides. I love this guy. I think it's great. I'm praising this figure, but I recommend it, man. I'm really pleased aesthetically and everything and stuff like that. So what is the downside? The downside really is going to be some of the articulation, which is going to be limited, of course, by this intricate robe. So let's take a look at that. So Wong can look up really well. Down. Look at that down. We got some tilt on our boy right here. Look at that. Tilt. Tilt. Full rotation. Full arm rotation. Both arms. Do the swim. Bicep swivel. Double jointed pinless elbows. And diaphragm. We can get some good range on it. A tilt not that far forward that far back full rotation now we're going to get to the limitations so Wong can split about let's see that again slow motion all right uh, kick about this high now he does, it looks like these neck and knees right here the way this cuff comes in but it is single jointed you're not going to get much range on there because it's going to be limited 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 by that cloak so you might get him walking up the steps that's about it we got it's almost like a mcfarland foot when we get down here because of a limited range uh, because of the pants hinge on the foot and peg holes on the bottom of his feet which are front peg holes we don't see too often like that usually more towards the back but blam that is long he stands up really great he's pretty well balanced with the robe and everything and stuff like that i recommend it guys some good accessories with long the sword energy shields or and extra hand for the sword yeah i recommend it let me know what you guys think in the comments you're picking this guy up i already picked him up uh, hype for the movie i'm super hyped for the movie man but uh yeah if you like this video please leave a like drop a comment consider subscribing check out our other content we do videos almost every day shorts reviews for marvel legends dc universe NECA toys and everything else in between you can find us on facebook instagram and tiktok just search for cajun toy review and uh hope you guys are having a great day uh american chavez is next uh and then um keep on going down that line to get with my boy sleepwalker super excited about that so yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video take care of yourself